welcome back to the channel again guys come on <laughs> so as you last saw from the last vlog we did we are up in the Lake District so we've popped over actually into the town of Cockermouth this time yeah. uh, we've been told it's a lovely place to come and visit very historical and also we've got a special shop to find as well haven't we have we? I, I bet I've got some inside information of somewhere we need to go later on about 5.30 Can you guess what that'll be? So the most famous person I know that's come from Cockermouth is William Wordsworth. He was born here. Mm. Uh, and apparently his house still stands, so I wouldn't mind having a look at that. That's some years old, isn't it? Mm. And there's a castle, but you can't go into it anymore because it's privately owned. But I'm more interested in the town. And I'm more interested in that special 5.30pm oh, shop. Oh my goodness. Does it ever end? So we just found a map as we're coming out of the car park where we're stopping. What's the car park called? Memorial Gardens? Yeah, Memorial Garden car park. We're going to go over the River Derwent. I thought it was called River Cocker. Well, there's two rivers, isn't there? Oh, Cocker. yeah, there, look. There's Cocker and there's Derwent. So, hence why that's the mouth of the cock there. So that's why they call it Cocker Mouth. It's something to do with that. I hope I'm saying that right and I'm not making it sound like I'm insulting people. So what's this that we're going to cross over now? The Derwent? The Derwent, yeah. And further up there is the Cock River, River Cocker. Be careful how you say that. Mm -hmm. And we've picked a really good day as well, because it's nice and warm. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's bright, isn't it? Yeah. It is bright. It's bright. It is. It's one of them sort of bright, hazy days, isn't it? At the minute? A bright, so hazy day. It did rain first thing this morning a little bit, didn't it? But yeah. Could do with getting a drink, me. I'm thirsty. Right, come on, let's do it. So we've just found a plaque on this bridge and it says it was opened in 2010 by the Princess Royal. I don't know who the Princess Royal is though. Yeah. But it was 2009 when the floods happened here, so it was a, exactly a year after, weren't it? Yeah. So we're just coming past these houses that are right next to the bridge and as you can see, they've got um, flood defence yeah. bars on the, on the doors. So yeah, it must come right through here. When you get a lot of rain, it must be horrible here, thinking, is it going to rain and flood everywhere? Well, 2000, it's a long time ago. If it's never happened again, it must have been a freak mm. thing. We've probably had, No, it's probably flooded, but not notably like that, where it's wiped everything out. Mm. Bubble tea, Lisa. What is bubble tea? I don't know, there's all sorts. Look, bubble, bubble bee, bubble tea. Bubble bee, bubble tea? I think it's more Japanese, isn't it? But It's, uh, it's got the rat on it as well, hasn't it? We do Ooh, do food. coconut, jasmine coconut jelly bu bubble tea. Mm. What is bubble tea? Put it in the comments below because we've seen it everywhere, but I think it's the only thing Chinese he's not even tried. Look at that, look, crispy chicken leg and fries and drink. Mm. That's very strange. There's someone in the back doing something. Mmm, yeah. yeah, bubble tea. It's quite popular, isn't it? I, I always thought it was like you get a cup of tea without milk in it and a straw and you blow bubbles in it. But well, how would you want to do that? I don't know. So we've just spotted this, the old King's Arms Lane shops, restaurant and cafe. The Cockermouth History Wall. Let's go and have a look. What's this here? Cockermouth Castle. It is a market town as well. That's, he came from here. Fletcher Christian. He was the man who led the mutiny on the bounty. He came from here. And there's the man himself, William Wordsworth. We're going to have to go and find his house, Mark. That's it there. I've seen the big statue there on the road, Lisa. It looks yeah. like it could be so. Quite a lot of famous people come from Cockermouth, Mark. Famous things and people and stuff, yeah. yeah. Look, floods, look. 2009, the corner oh, of the Drake. Look at the street there. Is that, that, is that where we've just come across that bridge? Yeah, it, it looks is. like it. So this one here is a bridge we've just come across. We're parked over here, right, we Mark? Yeah, yeah. Are we? Yeah, somewhere over there. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. it was a bad one, wasn't it? Mm. They're even getting people out by boat. And that's the aftermath of the floods that's down here, must. Like is that, oh god, yeah, that's where we are now. We're stood right Everything there, aren't we? Everything just around, doesn't it? You see, and ends up where the water goes down. We're stood right here. Hmm. Wow, what a mess. Yeah, we're off with them steps, Lisa, were not it? Mad, isn't it? So we'd, we'd actually be underwater here, right here and right now. 
Mm. So that's all survived, hasn't it? Look, Cockermouth Travel. Look at that travel estate agent there. It's absolutely destroyed. Ruined. But yeah, all oh, this has survived because this is all on the picture. Wow. The weather, you can't predict it, can you? It's a destroyer. So I've just been in a charity shop and got some lovely jeans. Oak tree animal charity, so giving, it back, giving something back to the animals. And I comes out and he's got me a Greg's. Well, a coffee. Coffee, yeah, because we're going to go and find something to eat, aren't we? In a bit, yeah, dinner time, we'll go and get something nice to eat. Dinner the time. town's The town's coming alive a bit now, isn't it? Look, Main Street Fisheries. That looks like an oldish kind of place, doesn't it, Mark? Phone orders queue, right, and wait to be cold. Come on, it's not open. We do, uh, we do batter sausages, that's nearly my second favourite to Chinese. It is. I don't know why, because that's even worse. Who else likes battered sausages? Put it in the comments below. Oh, and I'll tell you what I do like as well. Battered beef burgers. Blech. Look at this look. What is it? Alternative takeaway. Alternative to what? So what, how it works is, on a Monday night you have a pizza, and on Tuesday night you have a burger and fries, and then on Wednesday night you have something else, like a kebab. Don't, I don't get it. Alternative takeaway. Yeah, so every night you alternate what you have. So. That's grand. It's alright in there, doesn't it? Shoot though. Mm, what a shame. Come on, let's get going. I've just spotted another charity shop, so I'm heading in there. Some really nice stuff in the charity shops here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've just found these in a charity shop. Look at these shoes. They're amazing. <laughs> 50 pound though. The most expensive shoes I've seen in a charity shop. So we've just found this pub called The Black Bull and seen this above here, aren't we? That's where the floodwater actually came to in 2009. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? And look at that compared yeah. to me. We'd actually be underwater at the moment, wouldn't we? Scary, isn't it? I mean, that was a peak, but you know, it was still bad enough. So, all that pub would have been underwater, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. They've come back well from it, though, haven't they? Yeah. Crazy, though, isn't it? Now? It's mental, absolutely mental how it's come right the way up here. So, all this street would have just been underwater. We've seen so many antique shops over the last few weeks and months, it, haven't we? It, it's like we're getting really popular nowadays, aren't we? Yeah, but does anyone remember these because they seem to be in every single antique shop? See the white docks there? You don't only get two of them. Is there two of them, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's one at the other side as well. There, that, do that dog looks stunned, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like it's, it's had a bit of a shock. But they're in every single antique shop. What have you just seen over here? Uh, Vacuum cleaner. Like. He said, Do you want a vacuum cleaner, Lise? Yeah, that's going to do a right lot into it. Look how old that is. Mm -hmm. So we're just coming over to Cockermouth Marketplace, apparently. Apparently so. This that's is looking a bit pretty, isn't it? Here, all yeah. these all different flood uh, and buildings. And again, it's a town that doesn't have your bog standard shops. It's like all independent shops again. A lot of them are, aren't they? Yeah. Iron mongers. Where do you see an iron mongers in a town? You don't see a lot of them anymore, do you? Yeah. You might need some iron mongering, don't you? Well, there. I don't know who needs some iron mongering, Mark. Not look these days. Look from trees there, look. That's what it's all about. Oh, he found his shop. The five o'clock shop or five thirty shop. Hmm. Hey, I wonder if that were flooded. Well, I don't know. I probably weren't. It probably weren't here in two thousand and nine. But look at this little shop, this little court here, this is pretty, isn't it? Yeah.
The one thing we've realised this weekend is we have got rubbish chairs to sit out on. Uh, they're the cheapest of the cheap, so we want to get some more. But we've just had a look on Google and the nearest place is a town called Penrith. It's about 45, 50 minutes away from here, so we're going to see if we can go and catch outdoors and get some decent chairs because they are really, really hard, the ones that we've been sat on. Um, they need to go out bin. So I'm going to find the postcode for Mark for Penrith and we're going to head there next. Just popped in to get some diesel because we were literally on fumes, weren't we? Oh, yeah. And we, There's only literally one SO around here. There's not many at all, is there? No. Just sat here. Mark's just putting the pump into the side of the van and I heard him shout, can you move forward, Blues? <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah. So we're going to take the pump out and move forward. We explained we can't because we were literally, if we move forward, would have blocked everyone from coming out the petrol station. Our filler cap's right at the front of the bus, you see, so the back of the bus has to hang back, but a bit of patience would go amiss. We'd literally just put the pump in the bus, so sorry about that, but it, we were literally in and out of there, weren't we? Oh, yeah, we're at that. I don't know, some people. Right, we made it. Mm. Good time as well. Got an hour left before it shuts, Mark. What have you seen? Two chairs for 40 quid? I think so. But I don't think they're any good or not. No, you've got to come and try them, haven't you? You can't just get them online. You've not... got to get the bum test. Yeah, well, they're, <laughs> they're quite important, aren't they? You get decent chairs. And ones have got a rubbish, but they're cheap, aren't they? So... Yeah. So let's go and try some chairs. They're the cheap ones, aren't they? Oh, that looks a big one, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, it's just, it's not bad at all, right? Is that alright? Yeah, it's quite good. It's not a fold up, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's not bad, but you know, it's not no, as good as that. No, it looks, salad, looks a bit... I don't know. Now, we don't want anything like that because you get the breeze coming through there, don't you? Mm. The bottom. Look at that one. That's the same as down there, isn't it? That's broken. That's a good advertisement there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear, what a load of rubbish. Well, we went outdoors and we're staying outdoors, aren't we? we no well, we're, not, we're going to be sitting outdoors on our own chairs because they were rubbish. There was broken chairs in there, there was stuff dumped out left, right and centre and yeah, anything. Nothing any better than we've already got. No. 60 quid or more, so. Nothing comfy, so we're after some moon chairs. If you can recommend some really comfy, big moon chairs. What are at the right price and not a, a fortune. Then. Like a hundred pound a chair. Yeah. Uh, put in the comments below or messages, let us know where you found them. So we've made it to Penrith, we found a car park, paid a couple of pounds because we're just before six, but after six o'clock till eight it's free. So that's one bonus for getting here. Yeah. We just didn't get any chairs, I'm gutted. I know, it was nothing much in there at all, was there? No, all the cheap stuff was left. But uh, yeah, Penrith, guys, no word of a lie, you're not going to believe the car park that we've picked and what is found right next to it. No word of a lie. Saw it when we came in, didn't we? <sighs> I give you Ming's Kitchen. Or oh, as you called it, Mark's Kitchen. I just cannot believe the look of this man. So get you ready for being up. Half past before. four. Yeah. Right, chicken fried rice. Oh, we do salt and pepper. Oh no! Oh, that's expensive. Seven pound ninety. It's that's like, ridiculous. That, that one we looked at down the road was six pound. Yeah. So you can no. say goodbye to Ming's yeah, kitchen. Yeah, you just have to tighten your belt. Bye you? bye. No. Your belt's not going to get any tighter because you're not having any Ming's kitchen. Ridiculous. Got a fish tank and everything. Yeah, well they can keep the fish tank. Well. Cinemas are normally on massive complexes these days. Look at this one, it's a three screen cinema. Yeah, Alhambra. Can you remember them being that old, Mark? No. Yeah. Look at that, all tickets, five pound. Such a sweet little thing, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what they're playing, though. I've not seen any of them films. The reels are film reels. Oh, yeah, but it's well tanner. Look at that. <laughs> That's how cinemas used to be, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it does. Right back in there. Gang of kids going past with the music blaring out on the backs. 
he's seen three up to now Chinese is, and he's driving me nuts. How many have you got now? Just two. God's mm. sake. Golden bat. Yeah, but it's the same price. No, it's not. It's cheaper. Well, they do a small and a well, large you, portion. You go back to the motor home and I'll just sort it out. Yeah, alright. So this is now the third. Chinese we've been in, in Penrith, isn't it? Yeah. £7.50 for chicken fried rice. But in perspective, 28 miles down the road in, uh, where was we at? Uh, Cockermouth. In Cockermouth, it was £6, so it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly the same. It's a bit of rice with a bit of chicken in it. So, it's a low score for me from Sukiya. <laughs> and we're still walking. I think you'll just have to have a salad, Mark. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Are we all? Jeez Louise. Never seen you move so fast, Mark. Uh, I wonder if it's all hard work, isn't it, showing everyone around? <laughs> what, a closed town? Yeah. We're doing it all again tomorrow. Oh, it'll be another kebab, won't it? I'll change. No, it will not. I'll get it open. Look here, flapping. Just rip it. There you go. Open it up then. Let's have a look see what you've got. Well, Let's see what you've won. Yeah, it's ages since we've had a kebab. Take isn't away it? kebab it is, yeah. Donkey, I, I don't get kebab, I, I've got chicken That's meat. Fine. Oh my goodness, how much sauce? Right. Well, I've I'm got chicken. Ch you've got chicken trout me on as well. Yeah. As you can see, Mark's not got. He's gone for the healthy option and not got any salad, as per usual. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of sauce on there. Yeah. Where's my chicken? <laughs> it's disappeared. Mm. Like the nicked it. Oh. Right. We'll yeah. eat it and we'll let you know what it's like. So, bit of an update. I've opened my kebab and I've got four pieces of chicken, but it's absolutely swimming in sauce. Can Is you see all, all of it? Four pieces. Four pieces of chicken. Well, there are more on that skewer. So was they? I'm sure they were. So I wonder if they five. cook it and then they take some off because yeah, he said right. a, he said a medium or a large. Yeah. yeah, there were more than four pieces of chicken yeah, on that loads, skewer. Sure more but it's all this sauce. Mm. There's a lot of it. You're happy, aren't you? Well, it's nice. Yeah, I thought it might have been on the bigger naan bread, but yeah, yours is large, isn't it? So mm. well, I wouldn't want to see small. You normally get large on an arm bread, don't you? But mm. oh well, let's tuck in. It tastes nice anyway. So. Right, change of plans. Uh, this car park's, car park's not turned out to be what we thought it were going to be. We have a gentleman right across from us uh, screaming and shouting on his phone. Yeah. When we did come past the pub earlier on, they were all blood all over the floor. Um, we've got cars parking in here already with a boom, boom, boom sort. Yeah. Time well, to move. This is a bus station car park, and it there's, there's quite a few car parks dotted around. So. Yeah, and the bus station, the buses are coming in now, and the beep, beep. The thing is, they're pulling reversing. into like a bay and then having to reverse out. So, so they'll be at it about half oh, five, six in the morning. So, time to shift. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Well, what can I say? We have found probably one of the most safest overnight car parks in the UK. Why? <laughs> it's attached to the police station and it's free until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm happy as Larry. That one, I wasn't vibing. And if, you, if you're not happy where you parked up for the night, you need to move because it'll drive you crazy. It certainly does me. But yeah, I'm happy as Larry here now. The police are going to keep an eye on us so I can get a good night's sleep. Right, time to get a film on. Where's he going now? Well, I'll leave him to read that. I'm not bothered about that. I feel safe. Time to go in and get my feet up. It's been a long day. We'll catch you in the morning. Morning. Morning with me toast. Yeah. 
We found this pub down the road from where we're stopping. It's called Weatherspoons. <laughs> you know what we like for a Weatherspoons breakfast? Love it. Yeah. That's the one that yeah, we're in. No, it's, no, it's not. not. That's the magazine. That's Weatherspoons news. So we're at the Dog Beck in Penrith, aren't we? Yeah, That's even fine. Penrith have got a Weatherspoons. As you can hear, mm. the coffee's going well down well with everybody. We've got two breakfasts. They're doing a special offer at the minute, aren't they? Some more, uh, cheap plates or something it's called. Yeah, on cheaper app. plates. Yeah. A traditional breakfast. How much was it? Two sixty-one. Uh, Three forty-nine for uh, for a traditional. A small breakfast, two forty-nine. So bargain. That's what we like. We like budget budget things. The only thing is, we had some problems because there were no eggs on our plate. So I went back to the kitchen. I said, "There's no eggs." and there isn't any, we haven't got any. No but delivery of eggs, and my beans were cold, they were frozen, so nice. they've had, just, had my breakfast re-delivered. But let's get Rest tucked in before it goes cold again, and enjoy. Oh, that was nice. God, I can't see out here, it's that dark in there, it's so bright out here, blinding. Even though I got no egg, it was still all right, that breakfast. Mate, we're all right, it weren't one of the best ones. Uh, I sent mine back because my beans were freezing. Well, that's the... Weatherspoon, it's the dog back. In Penrith? Yeah, it looks nothing like that. You see the beer garden up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going to take you around Penrith now, show you the sites around here. There's castles and all sorts going on. It looks like it's going to be a cracking day, so let's go and see what we can find. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look at the size of the seat, Mark. You get your bum in that. Look, there's two dogs on there again, look. Oh, there's the dogs that we're on about the other time. Must be an antique shop again. Must be. That's it. Oh, it's two seats on there as well. Yeah. That's lovely, that, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. It's pretty Oh. So that van was just turned into a space and a car just crept so right bad. round him. He's, he's lucky he didn't hit him then. Yeah, nearly. Yeah, so we just come down this little um, lane here that Mark found because there's loads of charity shops. Mm. But we haven't found anything yet. Look at this. What's this here? That's sweet, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like a planter thing. Yeah. Looks like they've did it all up for the Jubilee or something, do not it? Yeah. Can't believe we've just nearly seen a crash then. <laughs> God. What's that? Country yard? Hello. <laughs> House of good Chinese food. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But it's not a Chinese, that's the for door sure. It's open. Basically what it is, that's just a, an entranceway there. And you want? It's nothing there. Is it just an advertisement? No, it'll obviously open up. It might well be. Oh, a and then it's behind there, right. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I've never seen a Chinese with, with nothing but a blue door. Thank God it's not open. And we missed that last night when we were looking around, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, it's sweating. Thin. It's all uphill, look. It, has, it is up all, all uphill, and that's the reason why they build castles up here. Because this is Penrith Castle. Yeah, home of Penrith Castle. Look at that, it's quite a bit of that, actually. Quite impressed, because there's quite a bit of it left. Normally when we get to, to a castle, there's nothing left, is there? No. And what are you doing down there? I'm looking for artefacts. Artefacts? Something all here looks like foundations for something like a gatehouse. But this probably would have been the moat, as you can see, it's all set down. Yeah, but you were saying you were a bit worried about how deep it was. It's not that deep, it wouldn't stop you if you wanted to attack, you'd soon wade over well, there. Well, if you've got down there, yeah, it's not so, going to stop soldiers, is it? It would have been full of all sorts of rubbish and sewerage up maybe years ago, so. But uh, yeah, I'd like to get, I'd like to have a look around here, get like a metal detector. I bet there's loads and loads of things around here. Um, I've been watching Deep Digger Dan channel, Dan, our friend Dan and Mazzy from Travel Trolls, uh, his previous channel where he went around metal detecting, I don't really know anything about it, but some of the things, what they find instantly, you know. You're always going on about it when we go to beaches, aren't you, yeah. and stuff, after a busy day, going finding all No, well that's change. a bit dishonest, <laughs> that, isn't it? But like here, I mean, it's the thing is, you couldn't do it because you get in trouble, you'd probably need permission. Well, but you'd have to give it in as well, because it's not yours. Yeah, so. Let's go and have a look at this castle then, can you get up that other side? No, it's a bit steeper and it? there's a bridge here. In this. As we walk up to the castle, it's telling us a bit, bit about it here. 1396, is that when it was built? And then remodelled in 1471.
was a lot of castles around here that were like that, weren't they? Yeah, well, Keeping yes. the Scots out. Yeah, years ago. So. Thank yeah. God it's changed. It looks like they prisoned them down there. It's like a, I mean, that's more than that piece of metalwork there, but it's like a dungeon, isn't it? So it looks like Mark's found the jail. I don't know what, I think it just looks like a jail because that gate's on it, Mark. It wouldn't have been there all them years ago, would it? Mm. Quite impressed with Penrith Castle, it's lovely. You'd have had a lovely view living here because you can see 360 all the way around, can't you? Yeah, before all the likes of McDonald's and stuff were built. Yeah, it doesn't look right clever with McDonald's and B&M's are across the road, no. does it? Well, you would have seen all the way around. Yeah. You? It's a couple of days on from Penrith. Uh, we've been home, but there's major change of plans. We're not going to tell you what it is. You're going to find out in the next vlog. As you can see, we're in the bus and we're travelling. That's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah. But very, very exciting. You must watch the next one to find out where we end up. It's going to be a long journey. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Sorry to keep you in suspenders, but... Um, we'll come back to you soon about the Everglide bike. We haven't had a chance this week to do a review, finish a review. Yeah, we'll show you Mark on the back uh, very soon. Like I, think, like I said, things have overtaken us. Uh, other plans have come into fruition, so we've had to go with it. But for now, we'll leave it here. If you've liked what you've seen, please like, comment and subscribe. Don't miss out on the next one. No, it's no, going to be a banger. We'll see you on the next one.